I was a game tester for Nintendo back in the 80s and 90s. I tried Super Mario Bros. 3 back for the NES. I got paid at least $100 a week. I even tried Super Mario World 2 for the SNES. But this year, I received a new game console that has never been introduced yet. It was called the Ultra 64. It also came with a game called Super Mario 64 on it. On the cartridge, it said 1995-07-29 build. It was three days before August. I was so excited to be the first one to see the graphics of the Ultra 64. It was called that before it was called the Nintendo 64. I put the cartridge in, and the game started. It went to the title screen. I was the first one here Charles Martinet in a real video game. Mario's head popped out and yelled, Yaha! I pressed start and went straight to the game. The design was so cool. I went to Princess Toadstool's castle. Something dark and mysterious happened at this moment. The music was scary and unsettling. I was freaked out by this when I went into one of the paintings. The white screen said, More eel feeding time. I was disturbed but pressed start. Mario was in a cage inside the ocean. A big eel came up and tried to eat him. I was scared at the moment because the eel looked terrifying. Mario was drowning and the eel disappeared. It had the Bowser laugh but it was even scarier. Mario was kicked out of the painting. The picture changed into a depressed Luigi picture from Luigi's Mansion. Even though Luigi's Mansion or a depressed Luigi didn't exist in 1995. I was exiting the room. The castle of the music were even scarier. So I went to the next room. I went through a different door this time. Leading me to a long hallway and a stairway. The stairs went down to a double door at the bottom. And the hall went to a door at the end of the room. I went through the smaller door and it led me to a garden. An area with a fountain with a statue in the middle. After I approached the fountain, the sky turned red in the words Ella's Riddle 2401 started flashing on my screen with disturbing music. Then the screen went black and popped up again to show Luigi's face down in the water floating lifelessly. I freaked out and after that I took the door again and ran through the hallway down the stairs and through the double door at the bottom where I proceeded to the next room. I saw a standard blue painting and went closer to it. Then I saw Wario's head and he said, You want fun? Wario show you fun. I was running from Wario. He went closer. The closer he got, the more knocking that was on the speakers. When Wario was about to eat me, the screen went black with Mario doing a blood-curdling scream. Mario woke up and saw Luigi crawling. He said in Tony Rosado's voice, Come crawl with us, Mario. Mario ran until he eventually saw Wario again. There were so many crawling spider Luigis everywhere, I was so traumatized by this. Wario yelled, Luigi's attack. 69 spider Luigi's were chasing me until they knocked Mario down. The screen went interruptly black. And Wario did the scariest laugh ever heard. It showed a cut seat of Mario eating Mario in one bite. 
Then it showed the game over, but with Luigi with his depressed face. Then Luigi looked at me and said, Mario is gone forever because of Wario. Then it showed a cutscene of him sobbing for 30 seconds. Wario came up and ate him with one gulping bite. The Ultra 64 turned off and so did the DV. I sat in my room in the dark with only one light bulb. Then the power went out. Then then I went to bed, went to sleep. I shipped the game and console back to Nintendo on July 30th. They sent me a letter on August 2nd. They said, Dear Named with Eld, We apologize for all this. The, the Wario head and Spider Luigi's and all that. We will make sure this never happens again. From Nintendo of America. I had nightmares for two months after that. In February 1997, I got a non-scary version of the game. It was more fun than it was in 1995. I quit the job in 2000. And now I'm safe with all the games. And that's the story. You know, to be honest, I'm surprised this person didn't write that the cartridge went on a murdering spree after the game shut off because there were just been cliché added to this poorly written cliché fest. It was called the Ultra 64, and with it came a game, came... God fucking damn it! But this year, I received a new game console that has never been introduced yet. That was probably a bad take, God... It was called that, for it was called the Nintendo 64. No, it was not good. It was called that before it was called the N64. <sighs> Why am I saying you? It was called that before it was called the Nintendo 64. There. The stairs went down to a double door at the bottom and the hall. That was wrong. The stairs went down to a double door at the bottom and the hall went to a door at the end of the room. That one wasn't good either, okay, I gotta say. Mario woke up and saw Luigi crawling. He said in Tony Rosato's... I don't know how to pronounce this fucking and god damn it. It showed a cup seat of Mario... Eating Mario in one bite. I think that meant Wario. <laughs> 